Hello friends, my name is Pinaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. In today's discussion, uh, we will talk about digital lending process. So if you remember, we have already discussed uh, lending process in detail about unsecured and secured lending, both originations and servicing. So this series of videos that I will uh, publish, that would be on how digitization is touching the origination and servicing life, uh, life cycle. Now let's let's begin. So before going there, let's uh, talk a uh, little bit about simplification of this process of origination and servicing. So we have seen the process in detail. I will not go into that. So uh, if I simplify the overall process of originations, it starts with the application wherein all your applications, some submission would be there. Uh, your document submission would be there, everything would be uh, done. Once application is done, we go towards data enrichment. So data enrichment as in uh, data enriched from multiple sources, we have talked in detail. Uh, verification, once your details are received, you do a verification. It might be manual or it might be automated. Now we do a offer generation. Uh, post offer generation, there would be fraud checks which are done contract would be created and the disbursement will happen. Once the disbursement will happen, we will move to servicing where the day to day basis accruals would be done, collection should happen, additional serv loan servicing as in changing of anything, uh, any parameters of your uh, loans, extension of your period, all these things would happen as part of uh, additional loan servicing. Uh, once this goes on till payoff, uh, there would be an account closer. So this is the simple process of uh, originations and servicing. Now let's look at one section which is your application section, right? How digitization is changing it. So your first piece of digitization is brought forth by adding lot of mobile applications. So now if you go to Google Play Store for uh, most of the banks or for NBFCs you would find separate separate mobile apps which are there. So uh, you just need to install that, that will ask for some permissions, it will get details from your mobile and then it will proceed further. Having the need of user to enter multiple inputs, what we are required before in, in process of application submission. Next one is the point of sales. So wherein, wherein we take different kinds of loans like your BNPL loans and all, so we go to a merchant and then um, we ask for a loan, right? So at that point of time, if you see initial days, a lot of physical applications were being filled up with your signature, customer signatures and all. So at this point of time, everything is getting digitized by providing apps and specific devices that would be for application submission, that would be for biometry, that would be for your other details capturing. The third one is web portal. Now, the initial days, if you have seen your ICICI bank, let's say, give, give me an example, ICICI bank web portal for filling up an application, personal loan application, at least you would be able to see around 50 to 100 fields that you have to enter. But now the approach has changed. It, it comes in a form of window by window form. So in every window would have few details, one, two details about uh, your customers being filled up and proceeded further. Now, in this case, this acts or this helps in multiple ways. First thing is that customer does not get bored in filling all these uh, all these details in one form. And second thing is that even if there is a drop of customer, by that point of time, there is chances that customer would have filled up few details in, multi, in two, three different pages. And the uh, NBFC can reach the customer explaining about the benefits of the loan to give further, uh, take him further through the lending uh, application process. So this helps in multiple ways. Now the next one in this is DSA. So DSAs are basically in simple the agents uh, who facilitate uh, taking uh, or uh, application um, uh, uh, submission process of customers. Now initial days DSAs used to come with uh, physical forms where they would fill the form on behalf of the customer, but it was a tedious process because later on this uh, paper forms are to be taken to branch, 
filled up the details and it unnecessarily it adds up to the TAT. So in that case now DSS also come with sophisticated devices where all the details of the customer can be taken even with uh, your thumb impressions or digital signatures can also be taken through that. It's a quick process. Same thing uh, uh, there has been joint liability groups. JLG is joint liability group wherein these loans are very famous for uh, 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 in, in terms of rural customers wherein uh, a group of customers or group of borrowers are facilitated with a set of loans right so everybody is linked there so that's what is called a joint liability groups normally a block or a or a small village those kind of people avail this now for jlg also it was a very tedious process of getting all these forms filled up putting that in system linking that uh, to each other creating that joint liability group everything so instead of that with digitization application submission has become much faster now the next one is also innovation or digitization that has happened in terms of branch so now if you walk into any nbfc's branch uh, you would get uh, your systems being provided those are enabled with uh, your biometric they are enabled with uh, your aadhar scanning bank verification right so those application submission uh, digitization makes actually the loan process uh, application submission much faster now the last one is about others so this is where i'm specifically talking about the embedded finance or the third party systems where you go and the customer goes and tries to get a loan so there has been significant uh, digitization happening in terms of application submission uh, with the other third parties also through other third parties also so basically this is about how digitization is changing the application submission process in making it overall small less tedious for customer and even making the turnaround time quite less so in the in my next video we'll talk about uh, digitization that is happening in data enrichment and so on i hope uh, you liked my video please give me a, a comment and thumbs up uh, if you have any uh, further clarifications and i'll be happy to clear that thanks a lot uh, viewers